In the last video, we looked at one method for solving polynomial equations, which was to solve by factoring. In this video, we'll discuss solving for exact values. When should we use this method? It works best in cases where solving by factoring leads to applying an exponent to brackets, like in the case of x minus 2 cubed plus 7 equals negative 20, or when factoring leaves you with a quadratic that you can't factor, but that still has real roots like in the case of 2x cubed plus 12x squared minus 16x equals 0. Let's run through how we can solve for exact values in both of these cases. Starting with the example of x minus 2 cubed plus 7 equals negative 20, if we were to solve this by factoring, step 1 would be to add 20 to both sides to get 0 on the right hand side of the equal sign. Then we would have to expand the x minus 2 cubed to get a polynomial in standard form that we could factor. Instead, the solving for exact values method suggests that we try to isolate x using algebra. We'll start by subtracting 7 from both sides to get x minus 2 cubed equals negative 27. Then, we'll take the cube root of both sides to get x minus 2 equals negative 3. Finally, we add 2 to both sides to come up with x equals negative 1 as our solution. As you can see, this method is much less labor intensive than solving by factoring would have been. Next, we'll look at the other example of 2x cubed plus 12x squared minus 16x equals 0. Here, we can't isolate x, unfortunately, so this will start off like a solving by factoring example. We already have a 0 on one side, so we'll move straight to step 2 and apply the golden rule of factoring, which is to pull out common factors as soon as possible. We'll pull out 2x to leave us with 2x times x squared plus 6x minus 8 equals 0. But that's as far as factoring can take us, since this trinomial can't be factored. We can determine the solution due to the factor of 2x as x equals 0. But what are the solutions due to the trinomial quadratic? To find out, we have to apply the quadratic formula to solve for exact value solutions. Recall the quadratic formula gives the roots of a quadratic function as x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. For quadratics of the form ax squared plus bx plus c, we can apply this formula. In this case, our a is the implied coefficient of 1 on the x squared term, our b is the coefficient of 6 on the x term, and our c is the constant term of negative 8. Be sure to make the distinction between negative 8 and positive 8 in this case. Applying the formula to the trinomial quadratic in our case yields x equals negative 6 plus or minus the square root of 6 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 8 all over 2 times 1. Simplifying this expression gives us negative 6 plus or minus the square root of 68 all over 2. We can rewrite 68 as 4 times 17 like so. Since the square root of 4 is 2, we end up with negative 6 plus or minus 2 times the square root of 17 all over 2. Then we can divide both the numerator and denominator by 2 to give us negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 17. This gives us a total of 3 solutions. Don't forget about the x equals 0 solution from the factor of 2x we found before. Okay, we've just seen the two cases where you'll want to solve for exact values and how to do so in each case. When solving by factoring would lead to applying an exponent to brackets, isolate x using algebra instead of factoring, and when you're left with a quadratic that you can't factor but that still has real roots, apply the quadratic formula. Hopefully you're now comfortable solving any polynomial equation using one of the two methods we've learned either solving by factoring or solving for exact values. Good luck in your practicing.